Hi, um, so I thought um, whilst this lockdown thing's on, I might as well just start a YouTube channel. Um, so basically, I'm just like really into makeup. Um, I like order it all the time. And um, I did a big haul from Look Fantastic and I thought, yeah, why not? Um, so I thought maybe I'd just put my makeup on today and just give you like kind of a run through of what I've got that's new. And then obviously I'll just grab out anything from my kit that's, um, that's not new and yeah, just do a nice face because why not? Um, so the first thing I bought was the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. So I've heard a lot of good things about this um, and I've really wanted to use it for a while. So it says it's an all-in-one primer and moisturiser. So um, nice packaging. It's completely kind of recognisable exactly what, you know, I've been looking at online and I thought, yeah, why not? Um, so I just took off my makeup for the day, so I might look a little bit flushed. Um, but yeah, let's just go for it. So, okay, so not actually what I was expecting. So I've opened it up, and as you can see, it's kind of like quite a thick-looking formula. Um, so it's like, yeah, it feels kind of like a body butter. <laughs> so if I just pop it as well, I'm not really sure how much you're supposed to go in with, but I'm taking it kind of just work like as a moisturiser. It smells really nice and it smells gorgeous, kind of citrusy. Um, it just smells really gorgeous. Um, yeah, lemony. It's really, it smells really nice. <laughs> and so yeah, that's gone on. It feels like just kind of like a moisturiser. Maybe a little bit tacky, which is kind of what you need with your primer because you need it to kind of grip. Um, yeah, I would definitely say it smells nice feels nice but obviously with the primer you just need to see how it wears to know how it really works so the next thing i'm going to go on to is my foundation so um this has been absolutely raved about it was on like everyone's best buys for 2020 it's the nars natural radiant longwear foundation um i got the shade mont blanc which is light too um i'm kind of hoping it will be the right shade for me but who knows oh bougie packaging very nice so yeah just kind of your traditional glass bottle um foundation it's quite tall um and it's it's quite thin and anyway, at the top of the lid just have to like shake it so i'm gonna shake it and then i tend to just use a brush to put my foundation on um so i shall grab a brush i'm gonna use this one it's like a kabuki brush um ah fab it comes with a pump because i thought you might have to buy a pump that's good because i didn't buy one and i wasn't sure so that's good so obviously it's new so it's going to take forever to pump out so there's four of the pumps they're quite small and i'm just going to dot this around my face like looks like it could be a good match actually so that's positive because i always get worried Oh, this is nice. Oh, well, I can see why people are raving about this. This goes on so nice. Look at, that's incredible. Like, I literally have yet to find a foundation that just goes on smoothly. Like, I find because I have like, obviously combination skin, um, like, it just doesn't blend in normally on my dry patch. This is gorgeous. I'm really impressed. Wow. Um, see, I've always been one to say oh, I'll just go for the drugstore because, um, you know, you can get good stuff for a lower price. But no, I feel proven me wrong. This is, this is insane. I mean, obviously, I can't really say how well it's gonna be wearing, but. I mean, so far, so good. Sorry I don't really have a proper video set up. Um, I've got my lights just in front of me, but um, not such a great background. Because um, I feel like you'd have to have your back to a wall for that to work, and then your room would look weird, right? If you sat with your desk, sorry. My camera's like on this desk clip thing, and I just knocked my desk, so it's made the thing jump. Um, I'm just gonna have one more pump because I think I need a little bit more coverage. Just kind of in the places where it's not 
exactly given me it. Uh, are you just over my spot? See, that's covered my spots quite nicely too. Um, which you know is a big deal at the moment because I don't know about you guys, but the maskne is unreal. I work um, in a retirement village um, as an activities coordinator. So obviously I'm having to wear a mask whenever I'm anywhere near a resident. Um, and the acne I've been getting from masks has been awful. Um, never really been one for like loads of acne, but recently it's been not that great. So I'd say I'm pretty happy with the shade match. Um, it's not washing me out, which is great because um, being pale as hell, like everything usually washes me out. I'm aware I haven't really put it under my eyes because I don't like to go too heavy under my eyes and um, just my concealer. Um, which brings me to my next product. Um, so again, so the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, everyone's hyped by this. Um, it's just like its ability and everyone in the 2020 favourites was like, yeah, this is the one. So I was like, I'm going to invest because, you know, when I say everyone, I literally watched like two YouTubers, but I, they both hyped about it. So, you know, uh, I'm, well, I'm pretty sure they did. Uh, so Soph, um, she used to be Soph Does Nails. I think she's just Soph now or Soph Does Life or something. Um, and then uh, Steph Toms, they're my two favourite YouTubers and I like watch them all the time. So a uh, really large doe foot applicator. So I'm just going to... Okay. I got the shade Swan. Um, I don't like to get the palest shade because I know that for me, I am easily uh, washed out. So the palest shade usually isn't the best choice for me. Um, I'm just going to take that up here just to lift my eyes because I like those eyes to look lifted. So... I usually pat my concealer in with a brush. Is this a concealer brush? Yeah, it's a big brush, but it'll I feel like it'll do. Just have to excuse that fact that I'm poking myself in the eye here. Insane. Yeah, this is blending out really well. It's slightly lighter than my base, which is fab because obviously we want that brightening effect, especially under the eyes. Maybe you don't want the brightening effect um, on my spots. <laughs> so I may have to invest myself in a different shade for that. I could possibly put too much on. That's it, you just don't know how to gauge it, do you, with a new one? You're just like, how much? So I'm just going to pat that in. And then what I'll do is to like really merge. I'll get my foundation brush in a minute. Just kind of go around the edges. Um, it's obviously important to tap, <laughs> not like swallow your brush around because you're just going to move the product on your face. So just to merge this. Lovely. When I put this order in, I looked fantastic. I was like, Joe, how can you justify spending this much money on makeup? And then I was like, 20% off code, it's okay. Um, and I haven't treated myself to new makeup yet in, I want to say since like last September, maybe even longer. So I felt like I was overdue a treat, especially during the times we're in at the moment. Um, for me, makeup is just like my de-stress. I really enjoy doing it. Um, it gives me a chance to kind of escape from the real world. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else feels like that, but I certainly do. Um, and then I actually did order a new powder. So um, I'm pretty sure, so I basically did this off memory. I couldn't remember. And I probably should have just watched the video again so that I did know. Um, but the Lottie London Ready Set Go powder. So I think I heard good things about this. And I think it was like six pound or something i can't quite remember um but yeah so i was like ah i'm gonna give that a go because i think people have said it's good i think i don't remember so right now i am looking quite pale 
um but i feel like the camera and the lights do wash me out slightly i do have a dark top on that probably doesn't help um but like on in the mirror in front of me i don't look quite so washed out so that's good so don't judge me with how bad i am at unpacking things Lovely. this is one thing i hate about these powders i wish there was something you could like put back on top so that you don't make a big mess or you thought you could twist something because I always make a big mess. Anyway, um, so I'm going to tip a bit of that out into the lid. Nice. It looks quite finely milled, which is good. I'm going to grab a kind of small, fluffy ish brush to pop my powder on with, she says, but I don't know if I even have one clean. Um, see, I really like these Molly O'Brien brush holders but the problem with them is is that um I feel like I can't see my brushes as well as I could previously I promise this brush is clean it's just that you know as they get older they get like more uh stained so I'm just gonna tap in my concealer again under my eye because this is really where I like to set um so I'm just gonna tap 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 because we don't want to like set in creasing which is what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna get another small brush I'm just gonna just to take off any excess product that might kind of be sitting there that we don't want to so I'm pumped dipping in tapping and then coming in and setting I don't really like to bake I just like to set because um I don't know whether it's my my face bone structure or something. Um, my mascara 100% doesn't matter what mascara I use or what I do. My mascara always smudges under my eyes. So I need to decrease that. And also because of my kind of not bags, but my like crease under my eye, which of course is completely natural. Um, I just, yeah, my product kind of gathers there so i need a good powder so i obviously love my laura mercier but you know if this comes up as a good dupe and um, it doesn't cost anywhere near as much i'm gonna be a happy bunny because as i said i do like a, a drugstore kind of level so now i'm literally just gonna go with my powder i'm just gonna quickly go I'm going to quickly go over my powder on a bigger brush and I'm just going to powder most of my face. Um, I'm not a big fan of like uh, being oily. Like, I don't like loads of powder but I do like to have a good amount on. So I put it on the brush and tap off because you can probably see it going away in a cloud. But also I do need to be setting my spot specifically and I always like to set around my nose because I'm one of these people that like rubs their nose all the time and then I end up with like I end up with like zero product on my nose and then I'm just going to head in on my t-zone and that's kind of the extent to which I set my face um so yeah first impressions so far so good but as I said time will tell um so now let's just kind of add some life to my face because kind of no life so i thought i might contour today but i don't really have a contour shade so we're going to go on straight with a bronzer um i bought myself in my haul again um mac mineralized skin finish and the color i bought was give me some um loads of youtubers are raving about it and i was just like i need to try this so i've tried the skin finish before and i had it in like medium it just wasn't right for me so here we go give me sun kind of seems quite orange next to my skin but then everything does um so i'm gonna grab kind of this brush from real techniques it's a contour brush perfect oh a lot of kickback from the pan a lot of kickback from the pan which i don't rate because waste of product so i'm really gonna tap that off because i don't want to overdo it I do already have like a cheekbone structure <laughs> so I will follow that I 
I'm just doing kind of small kind of circular motions building that up to warm up my complexion because it's looking like a ghost but you know a well a ghost with good coverage foundation um also I was kind of inspired to start filming because all my friends was like you would be really good on YouTube and I thought I'm gonna give it a go as I've got a haul only thing is I've got like a video call in 10 minutes so we's not gonna do any intense eyeshadow or anything today we're just gonna this might be a bit intense for me this is all good we can make this work I always do that with my makeup I always like oh this will work so I'm just gonna go back in with my powder brush and I and just kind of blur out those edges that's it just kind of blend them in so it's not quite so harsh good and then I like to go kind of back under I've not dipped back in just to kind of add some shadow because I have the double chin and then a tiny dip and just under the lip I don't know why I just it's supposed to make your lip look bigger I'm sure it does and then I do really like to do nose contour I am a fan so I'm just gonna get a little kind of brush dip in I'm not sure if this is the right thing to use for nose contour tap 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 might even just swipe up my hand first because you don't want to overdo your nose contour I think that looks better <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go over that now with my powder brush yeah that's definitely looking like better I have kind of a big nose I don't mind my nose it's all right anyway so yeah um I think that's okay I think you could probably make it heavier if you wanted to but that's kind of nice and subtle um and then I got this cheek party set so this is from Benefit it's got California Hula Dandelion Dallas and Georgia I already know I absolutely love Dandelion um I had Hula when it first came out and I actually never really got on the hype um so maybe I will but I absolutely love these kind of collections that are travel sized um just because you know you get to try out the product and it's not gonna like expire on you um no, I can't open the back so yeah you get like five minis I don't know how many grams they are um yeah but yeah for me this is ideal because in the pack let's open it from the other end and I think I might um use the California today because I've not used that and that looks like kind of like a really nice peachy kind of um blush so yeah that's kind of gorgeous look at that wow that's got good shimmer on it too love a bit of shimmer I'm gonna go with my powder brush now um because it's a nice kind of blushy type brush oh as soon as you do that it disappears the like sun so I'm gonna give it a real I'm gonna have to really dig into the pan like you see me attacking the pan I <laughs> finally got some pale let's give it a tap it's got no kickback which is great and then I'm just gonna like smile take my like center in love my nose and then up oh that's pretty oh that's pretty okay I like that I do like that. It's kind of like a girl around town vibe. I can't believe I just said that. I don't know why I just said that. Ignore me. I'm talking absolute rubbish today. Yeah, so that's kind of like a really nice pinky peachy shade. Um, a little bit on my nose. I am a big fan of, I really like blush. And as we're here and we got the hula, let's just go for it. Okay, so that's more of a contouring shade. Huh. Maybe I should have used that first. Yeah, that's giving me good, good contour vibes. Sod. Intensify the nose. Nice, nice. Um, I won't go around my forehead too much because 
I'm really good at doing that and messing it up. So next thing I've got here is um, I'm going to go in with Dandelion, but I already own Dandelion, so I don't want to actually open into that yet because, you know. <laughs> so I'm going to get a, a favourite of mine. Uh, this is my film star Bronze and Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, I would say it's well loved. I feel like it doesn't look like it's that well loved, but it is. Um, and I'm going to grab a kind of small brush it's like an eyeshadow kind of brush but it will it will work perfect oh perfectly for highlighter so get it in there tap off any excess because we don't want to highlight our whole face and just kind of wherever the light's heading i say wherever the light's hitting but I always put my uh, highlighter in the same place, so yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice bit of highlight. Nice. Okay, so that's good. That's given my face some sort of dimension. Uh, I now got, uh, I've now got the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I bought the original, so I basically used to have this. Uh, I haven't used it in forever. And I thought I needed a new eyeshadow primer, but I didn't want to waste my money on one that was going to be, you know, rubbish. So here it is. It looks like a lip gloss. And I'm going to swipe that on. I feel like I need a bit more. Not much came out there. God. Feels like I bought it and it's empty. So that's that. I'm just going to grab like a kind of fluffy eyeshadow brush and blend that out. I wish I could train myself to use less brushes because I use millions. Um, and then, yeah, perfect. So this should just help to even out the tone on the lid, uh, which is something I need because I'm quite veiny on my eyelids. And then, um, I'm sure I'll get better at this video and thing. So yeah, that's um, just gone onto my eyelids. And now I don't actually have any um, eyeshadow, no new, no new eyeshadow. So I will just quickly dig into a, ah, I do have a new one. I have this one from Acti Labs. It is the Venodrome 3 palette, uh, which I think is like two quads of four. Like a more neutrally one. God, I can't open it. I hate. I'm gonna rip it. I'm gonna be a bad person. I'm gonna rip packaging. Oh, that's so mean. Oh, that is pretty. Um. So yeah, that's really pretty. Okay, it's quite small, but it's nice. They are all kind of shimmers, which is yeah. Okay, it's okay. Um, let's see how it goes. So what I'm going to go in with first is um, a little fluffer. So go back in with this one. Um, I used it for my highlighter, but I'm going to go in with the kind of caramelly shade here at the bottom. They're quite small pans. A bit of kickback. I'm just going to kind of whack that all over. Not bad, not bad. Okay, I like that it's shimmery. Uh, hides a multitude of sins. Do you love shimmery eyeshadow? Okay, so that's kind of neutral. And then I'm going to go in with the kind of darker pink shade, which is just here. And I'm going to take that same brush because... minimize my shade use my brush use and just tap that here both eyes fabulous um, and then same brush <laughs> the lighter pink shade just here that will open up the eye hopefully and I'm gonna go on my finger on the really light shade to just kind of brighten the inner corner nice 
Okay, so that's just kind of like a really neutral, not much going on kind of look, but I literally just don't have time. Uh, and then I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, which is highly rated. And actually, it used to be my go-to mascara years ago when I was at school. Um, and so I'm so glad that everyone's kind of hooked up on the vibe and they've been like, yes, because it's reminded me to go back to it because I'm always struggling for a mascara. So I will just kind of... Oh, yeah. That was the reason I always loved this. I remember I used to buy this and it was like £10 and everyone was like, oh, that's so expensive. And because everyone used to have like the scandal eyes. But no, really, I think that's fantastic mascara. Um, it's really done a great job at coating all the lashes. not kind of clumpy I'm enjoying that and I can see why I liked it awesome so we'll just get the other eye done um, and then I will set with the new setting spray that I bought um, and then that'll be it sorry if you can hear a fan in the background Piece of hair, sorry. Sorry, the concentration is like real when I'm doing mascara. I really struggle to speak and do mascara. Do you know what I haven't done? I haven't done my eyebrows. But you know, as this is a, like a really natural look, I might just go in with a bit of brow gel today. Yeah, so this mascara is genuinely insane. I got it in the black packaging. I know I used to get it in the gold packaging, um, but this is the extra black. Um, I got it because there was like a twin set where you could get both, but I'll link everything down below. I'm just gonna go in with the NYX Control Freak, the brow gel. Um, this is just the one I use every day anyway. My brows aren't too bad. Although we all need to go and see a beautician and have our eyebrows done, so just leave it at that to be fair. <laughs> I won't explain myself. Um, and then as I said, the finally last thing to test is the setting spray. So um, I absolutely have heard raving reviews on this. People saying like, you know, your makeup will not shift even if you're wearing a mask like you have to use this so yeah um i've just put mascara on it i'm so scared to use it while i put mascara on so i'm gonna kind of go below my eye and above my eye oh hang on okay whoa that is like the finest mist ever there was like no wetness to that at all um so we'll see how that goes I and mean, then of course, <laughs> I forgot again, I might need lips. So uh, last but not least, I'm going with the P. Louise Achievements set. Uh, the lipsticks in Take Off the liner is in Achievements. And this is what I go to. Nude lip. I don't tend to overline. I don't see the point. Um, I, I don't mind my lips. And yeah, there we have it. That's the finished look. Um, I'm just going to try and get a bit closer to the camera. So bear with me whilst I shuffle in. I'm 
really happy with that. I'm really happy with the match. I think this is a really kind of flawless, natural, everyday makeup. I'm really happy with it. Um, I hope you are too. And um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, subscribe. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to say. Um, but I would really like to do the question of the day thing. So if you... Um, enjoyed this you'd like to see some more you'd like to be mentioned on my next video um ask a question below um and put the hashtag question of the day yeah anyway um bye